Blessings. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Womb Wednesdays. So good to see you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I first want to say welcome. Welcome to everyone. Uh, if this is your first time uh, at a Womb Wednesday, welcome. If it is the second, the third, the fifth, the hundredth, welcome also uh, to Womb Wednesdays. Uh, Womb Wednesdays is usually about the reproductive system and healing it and bringing awareness to it and all those great things. So that is the mission of Cosmic Woman. Of course, it's the entire being of the woman, but definitely when it comes to the womb or reproductive, we are extremely anal and we want to create awareness and healing and love and all those great things to it. So thanks so much for tuning in. I am Ramona Riley, AKA the Vagina Lady and owner of Cosmic Woman. So tonight, just like any other Wednesday, we are going to be talking womb. But tonight, what we're going to actually doing is not just talking about reproductive system and not just talking about hormonal balancing and cleansing and all the other things that we usually speak about, but we're going to talk about yoni toning and the amazingness of it, the, the benefits of it, and we're going to do a couple techniques as well. So if anybody um, is home and comfortable, if you want to go and change your clothes, if you want to, you know, get your yoga mat out, anything like that, please do so because I want you to be completely comfortable. We're going to be doing our Tony exercises um, and of course getting information, which is important. Uh, so thanks again, as I said, for tuning in. The first thing I want to do, which is always the first thing that I do, is to pray. It's important to me. Um, God is in control of it all. Uh, and so I want to give reverence and be grateful and thankful for what he has bestowed, bestowed upon us. So if everybody could just close your eyes, bow your heads, do whatever you'd usually do for prayer, and I will lead the prayer. Dear God, we all come to you right now so grateful for your protection, the love, the, the unconditional love that you bestow upon us every day. We also thank you for protecting not just us but our loved ones and helping support and guide us each and every day. Right now we ask you to just heal us bring your healing energy to us and if it's mental physical emotional whatever healing that we need give that to us we also ask you for peace in our hearts and in our minds and we thank you for all that you have given us today yesterday and what you will do tomorrow amen okay so yoni toning some of you on the live might understand or might know what yoni toning is, right? Because you've probably heard before, you've probably been at one of my yoni toning classes, or maybe like a womb wellness class or something like that. For those that have no idea what yoni toning is, I'm definitely going to get into it, right? Um, hi, Antoinette, my love. How are you? Um, I'm going to, we're going to get into that. So first, let me say this. The word yoni, it, it means sacred place. So anything that is sacred and of course our vagina, you know, that type of thing is sacred. It's a, it's a place that we don't just want to, you know, put anywhere and give anybody, you know, just randomly like that. Right. We, 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 we think of it as somewhere that is sacred, which is what yoni means. 
So yoni toning basically is the vagina itself and toning the muscles of the vagina. A lot of times when we talk about the vagina, we talk about all the, the negative things about the vagina, you know, um, the yeast infections, the bacteria vaginosis, the, 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 the discharge, the, all the things that make vagina ugh, right? The things that make people not want me to put cosmic woman on their package and deliver it, right? Because they're like, oh my God, I don't want anybody to know my shit's fucked up, right? But as you guys know, Cosmic Woman does more things than just um, talk about the negative things of the vagina. But it's all about making the vagina the best. So when people come to me and they say, hey, vagina lady, what does a vagina lady do? My, <laughs> my answer is always, I make vaginas tight, right, and happy, right? And that's my job. It's, it's to make everything good. It's to make everything happy. It's to make everything healthy. So when it comes to yoni toning, that in itself creates a lot of health benefits for the vagina, the walls, the muscles in the vagina. Yoni toning is usually things that we do where there's a lot of breathing techniques and there's also a lot of Kegels involved. Now, most women know about Kegels, right? We know that you squeeze and you release and you squeeze and you release. And some women know about things like, well, um, if, you know, like in terms of like, like quinting it, you know, in sex and that type of thing where you squeeze in while you're having sex and you release and you squeeze and you release, which is good. But there are so many other types of techniques that you can use and you can do and you can um, build the muscles that are in the vaginal cavity, which is important. The vaginal cavity has so many muscles in it. And a lot of times we find that we don't use the muscles. You know what I mean? We just lay down, take sex, give the sex, ride the dick these types of things, but we're not manipulating the muscles in our vagina. And when we can learn to manipulate the muscles in the vagina, there are a lot of things that happen that are positive. Number one, your pelvic floor becomes stronger. And remember that the pelvic floor is really about, you know, what holds up everything. It's a part of the bottom of the pelvis. So it holds up the bladder and it holds up the uterus and it holds up these things. So we want to make sure that the, pel the pelvic floor is strengthened. What it also does, of course, is strengthen the vaginal muscles. And because we have so many muscles running from the base of the vagina all the way to the cervix, what is important is if we can stimulate and tone these muscles so that we can manipulate them. Because let's keep it real. I mean, quinting, squeezing and releasing and squeezing and releasing, that's good. That's all good. That's dandy. That's wonderful. But there's so much more you can do with the pussy. Let's keep it real. I mean, those muscles can be doing all kinds of things. It can, it can flutter. It can ripple. It can, it can do things that are amazing. And so I want to teach you guys different techniques to practice to make this be your reality. On Saturday, I will be having a yoni toning class. And I find that a lot of women are not as in tune with these things as they are when it comes to, you know, wanting to balance their hormones or wanting to cleanse or wanting to get rid of their cysts and their fibroids and those types of things. But they're not really thinking about things like their orgasms and um, how wet they get and the texture of their vagina inside. Women are not thinking about these things. So it is my job, of course, as the vagina lady, to bring awareness and awaken. So I want to go through, first, who, who needs to take a yoni toning class? Who does? Every woman. I don't care if you're 19. I don't care if you're 30. I don't care if you're 45. I don't care if you're 70, okay, or 80 or 100. And you're, you know, it's, it's important 
to tone these muscles. When we don't use certain muscles, they become weak and they become more of a negative entity in our lives than they do being a positive entity. Now, when I do my yoni toning classes, if you have a yoni egg, I always say, hey, put your yoni egg in, right? Because the yoni egg creates a weight, almost like the weights that you'd use to build your biceps, you know, or your triceps, or your butt, or your squats, or whatever it is that you would be doing. So it's important to have a weight if you can. If you can't have a weight, that is fine. Don't feel like, well, I won't bother to do the exercise until I get my uni egg because I don't have one. Don't worry about that. It's not about the egg. It's about the repetition. It's about the pattern of the movement that you're doing. That's really where the greatness is. Okay, that is where we're going to be finding the pleasure and the niceness. So what I want to do tonight is... I want to go through some yoni techniques. The first one that I'm going to do, um, and I'm going to, yeah, the first one that I'm going to do, and I'm not using any music tonight, okay, guys, uh, because I really want you to hear what I'm saying. Uh, usually during my unitoning classes, there's definitely music playing. There's a lot of movement. We do, we do all kinds of music. Um, from belly dancing to African to tantric music, which of course is connected to tantric sex and that type of thing. Tonight, I just want us to focus on the element of the situation, which is the technique. If you guys are interested, please, please register for the Yoni Toning class on Saturday. You will have a great time. Anyone that does usually leaves the class horny, leaves the class wet, leaves the class excited. So if you have a significant other, you can just rope him, rope him in and let him benefit. If you don't have a significant other, you don't need one. I mean, you have your fingers, you have your hands, if you have your toys, you don't need him or her, right? So please don't feel like you don't need to take the class because of that. The first kind of exercise that I want to go over with you guys is the natural, normal Kegel. And the normal Kegel is usually just the squeeze and the release. That's what it is. It's a squeeze and it's a release. And so we want to do the squeeze and release 50 times back to back. This is going to help us to tone the muscles. Now, we have to start at this element because there are many women that have never done a Kegel. Or if they have, they've done them very seldomly. So we want to make sure that we have the understanding of what a real Kegel feels like. It's not about your ass. It's not about your abdomen or your core. It is literally about your vagina and the muscles inside the vagina. So let's start off first with the normal basic Kegel, which is a squeeze, release, squeeze, release. We're going to do that for a count of 50. I don't want you concentrating on the count. I myself will keep count and I will just let you know when the time is up. So we're going to start with squeeze, release. Now, if there are any men that are on here, of course, Kegels don't help you because you have a penis. But we do strengthening penis or pelvic strengthening classes for men. And so if there are any men on here, what I recommend you to do is to take your penis and try and lift it and drop it. Lift it and drop it. So as the woman squeeze, you lift. And as the woman drop, as, a, as the woman release, you drop and we're going to continue that and we're going to do that for 50 counts ready and go squeeze release squeeze release release release
release, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're halfway there. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Ten more. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And relax. Everybody inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Now, when you're doing this squeeze release, please remember that you can really be in any position, but I find that being in a crisscross, crisscross, um, crisscross applesauce position is usually the best thing because you have more control and because gravity is kind of helping you. Okay, now I want us to do another sequence and this is going to be a squeeze, squeeze, release. So instead of just squeezing and releasing and squeezing and releasing, what we're going to be doing is squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. And we're going to do this 50 times as well okay so ready go squeeze squeeze release Squeeze, squeeze, release. 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 We're more than halfway there. Release. Release, release, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ten more, squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, squeeze, release, squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release, five more. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, squeeze, release. Awesome. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Okay, so I just saw someone and they said that they want to feel like they want to pee. Okay. Have you guys, you guys have heard about squirting, right? You guys know squirting. You've heard squirting. You've seen squirting. Okay. So squirting is that same kind of feeling where you feel as if you want to pee. And for a lot of women, when they start to have that feeling, what they do is they jump off the penis you know they run away they say okay i gotta go use the bathroom because i gotta pee and they relinquish all the niceness that they could have from actually just letting go and just peeing just being just doing 
Now, of course, right now, I'm not telling you to go and just pee down the place. Okay, I mean, to each his own, I'm not judging. Um, but that same feeling that you're having on, in terms of that peeing type of feeling is a great feeling to have. So imagine the fact that you are not touching yourself. You're not being eaten out. None of these things are happening. All you are doing is toning your muscles. All you're doing is lifting and releasing and tightening. And all of a sudden you feel all of this niceness. You feel like you want to pee. You feel wet. You feel all those things. It's great. Hi, Sonia. I miss you so much. Yes, it's making you horny. It's supposed to make you horny. You should not finish a yoni toning class and not feel horny. Because you should. You are stimulating all of what's going on down there. Okay? So it's very important to do so, for sure. And to feel it. And don't feel uncomfortable. Please, don't feel uncomfortable. It's, it's, it's science. It's just what it is. Now, I want to go through another technique. And... Um, it is called pulsating technique. Now, this is the basic pulsating technique, which is what we're going to do is just squeeze and release. But what we're doing is as we're squeezing, we are releasing. Okay. So as you clench, you release. And as you release, you clench. Okay, and we're going to do that for 50, which will mean that we have done this 150 times. If you do your Kegels 150 times a day, in a week, your pussy will be like amaze balls, more amazing than it ever was. Not to mention if you do more than that. Now, what I also want to rec um, say before we go into um, our last exercise is... You might feel like you're squeezing and letting go, but you're not feeling that let go feeling. Like, you know, like you, you've let go, but it still feels tight. It's just because the muscle is very swollen at the moment. The muscle is tense at the moment. And so you don't want, you, you, have to, you have to be understanding to the fact that the muscle hasn't let go yet. Even though you have let go, the muscle still feels tight. That is quite fine. And that is actually quite normal as well. Okay. So we're going to be doing the clench release, the, the clench release, but we're doing it in a pulsating manner. And we're going to do that for 50. Guys ready? And go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. We pass half, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Last 10. And let go. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Very nice. Now I'm going to do the last exercise and I hope that you guys can see me well. Reagan, can you bring a phone to me, please? Phone, bring me a phone, honey. One of the one of your brother's phones. No, I need it for a second. Just go get it for me, please. Let me see if there are any questions. <laughs> okay, so for those that just joined in, we are doing yoni toning. And we're doing this because I just want to bring awareness to it because I don't think most women understand or know that yoni toning is important and yoni toning changes the dynamics of a lot of things, okay? So yoni toning helps with strengthening the pelvic floor, it helps with toning the vagina muscles, it helps with orgasms, it helps with better sex, it helps with all of those things, plus more. 
Give me one second. I don't know what's happening with this phone. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Don't judge me, guys. Give me a second. I'm missing music, so I apologize. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with his phone? Give me a sec, guys. I'm so sorry. It's touching everything else but I what I want it to touch. I guess maybe I shouldn't wait on this. And I should just continue without the music. Menstruation cups, I love them. I think they're amazing. And I will talk about that in a little bit. Let me just work this out so we can get...
The next thing that I want us to do is that I want us to squeeze, but I'm going to stand up and I want a rocking moment, a rocking motion, okay? So everybody's going to stand up. Hold on guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Is everybody something like me? Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Tonight, we know what we go no way. Me say make we keep up wanna dance. Call it sit down for me cocky I don't want you guys to think that when it comes on speak to can't lock the one you don't need no permit for fuck me. She said, really me the love for key you want me rather you just come and take it from me. Uh a million dollar question is when you fuck your day at the queen and see him country. Bring it to the owner. Are you to say I'm my pussy so cold? Yeah. Bring it to the owner. No. Bring it to the owner now. Bring it to the owner. No. Stop everything I do, go take a show. I'm bring it to the owner. No. Bring it to the owner now. Oh, you make your pussy so feel like you never fuck before. Wine in a you until it explodes. See for cocky start shift here now y'all. Change your one, two, three, four. Your man to it secure. Five, seven, Bring it to the owner. No. Are you say I'm my pussy so come? Yeah. Bring it to the owner. No. Bring it to the owner now. Bring it to the owner, no. Stop you do, take a Bring it to the owner. Bring it to the owner now. Bring it to the owner, no. Bring it to the phone, no. Please do so. Come put your foot them for my shoulder. Come and make me push you like a stroller, no. Bring it to the owner. Say I'm my pussy so cold. Bring it to the owner. No. Bring it to the owner now. Bring it to the owner. No. Stop everything I do, go take a show. I'm bring it to the owner. Bring it to the owner now. That's not what I wanted to do. I got a car full of girls and it's going real slow and Bandy beats, everybody won't go when That's not what I want. Okay, we're not done yet.
and exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, does anybody have any questions? Now is the time to ask. Don't judge me. Any questions at all in terms of um, what does that do or how often should I do this or anything like that? Because, I mean, of course, this is just like a trial thing, you know, like usually it's an hour of, you know, clenching and releasing and all of that type of thing, like for the whole hour and we do a lot of things and we change a lot of the different types of music that we use as well um you are supposed to no matter no matter what no matter if you wear heels no matter if you're a slipper slippers kind of girl no matter no matter if you love your sneakers it doesn't matter at the end of the day we are feminine and we are feminine because we have a pussy right and so it is about just accepting and and making that part of ourselves the most natural the healthiest that we can do so yoni toning classes who needs a yoni toning class every woman needs a yoni toning class um why do you need a yoni toning class it's important for things like strengthening your pelvic floor it's also very important for um toning the vagina muscles uh, it's also, you know, can help with your core a little bit and that type of thing. But I don't want us using our core too much because then it takes away from the muscles in our vagina. Now, if you can do this, if you did this just three times a week, you would see the difference versus if you did it every day. What you guys can also do is do this while you're having sex. If you're having sex with your man squeeze release squeeze release squeeze squeeze let go squeeze squeeze let go and swing to the left and swing to the right and squeeze squeeze let go come on guys play some music if you need it if you can't really get into the groove of it but try it in sex because it helps it definitely definitely helps also with orgasms and feeling um, the penis more and being able to manipulate the vagina muscles I mean who doesn't want to ripple their vagina muscles I mean who doesn't want to clench it and tighten it and hold it and squeeze here so and let go here so and squeeze down here so and let go here so who doesn't want to do that so in learning these types of techniques and practicing these things it allows you to be able to have full control complete control which then allows you to be able to do all kinds of niceness with your vagina muscles. What are you supposed to feel after the class is a question that I get a lot of times because women are usually feeling all kinds of things. They feel wet. They feel horny. They feel their clitoris and their vagina throbbing. As a matter of fact, what I want everyone to do right now with the little bit of time that we have left is to lie down on your back. Every woman, lie on your back. Everybody gets in that position where we're lying on our back. I'm going to lie, but I hope you guys can hear me as well. Okay. Lie on your back. And I want you to inhale through your nose. And I want you to exhale through your nose. Again, inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Now, I'd like you to take, if you are right-handed, take your left hand. If you're left-handed, take your right hand. So you're going to use your non-dominant hand. Everybody got that? 
You're going to use your non-dominant hand. So for me, that's my left hand. And I'm going to put it on my vagina. I'm going to cup it. I'm going to hold her. No, I'm not squeezing. I'm just resting my hand there. Now I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to really take in the feeling of what's going on down there. How does it feel? Is it pulsating? Is it clenching? Is it throbbing? Is it doing nothing? Is it just hot? Is it wet? Just take a stock of what is happening. Don't forget to breathe. You are using exercise, using breath, and all kinds of things to awaken your amazing vagina. She's being awakened. She is being stimulated. But she's being stimulated in a way where she's not being touched. Other than you now touching her. She's not, there is no foreplay, there is no masturbation, there is no nothing. This is just you connecting with her. Now, don't be surprised if you take the uni class and you do this, you feel something different. Today, it might feel like a throb, whereas tomorrow, it might feel just hot. It might feel hot and wet the next time. It could feel all different types of things. I just want you to be aware of what you're feeling and embrace what you're feeling and be grateful for what you're feeling. Because there are women out there that are not feeling what they should. And so I want you to be grateful and to embrace it and to accept it and to practice it. That's the goal. So we can make our vaginas be the most amazing they are. The most amazing that they can be. I see some people saying, oh, it's, it's very hot. It's wet. It feels like the heart is beating through it. Yes, I love it. I'm throbbing. I'm wet. All of these things are happening where people are saying that they feel this. Because that is what is happening. We are awakening her. You guys know that you can have orgasms without touching someone. Without someone touching you. You can have an orgasm just through breath. I have taught many women how to have orgasms just to have their babies. And they have what you call an orgasmic birth. So as they birth their baby, they go through this orgasmic feeling, this euphoric feeling. Right? It's all connected. All connected. So please, guys, if you are not registered for the class on Saturday, please do so. Okay? Come on. It is not expensive. You can learn a few things. Do it. We do it once a month. Okay? Register. Send us a DM. Send us a WhatsApp message. All of those things. Whatever, whichever way. Email. So that we can register you for the class. I want you to take the class. I did a free class last month because I wanted women to experience this. I did it tonight because I want you guys to experience it, okay? Um, the class is always different. The music is always different. Um, and when you leave, the feeling is always different. <laughs> so guys, please check us out in terms of the class. If you have questions, please send us a message. It is a live class. It will be on Zoom. It will not be on IG. Uh, so send us a message. If you guys are not following the Vagina Lady on IG, please do so, guys. There's no reason why you should be following Cosmic Woman and not following the Vagina Lady. So do so. And those that are following the Vagina Lady, please also follow Cosmic Woman. If you are on Facebook but you're not following us on IG, 
please do so. And YouTube, guys, we have a YouTube channel. Please follow us at Cosmic Woman on YouTube. The cost for the Yoni Toning class, I believe, is $1,500 um, Jamaican, and I think it's $10 US. I could be wrong, uh, but I believe that is the price. So send us a DM or a message. There you go. It's $1,500 Jamaican, and it's $10 US. Uh, you are open if it's that you just had a baby, if you that you've never had a child, if it is that you have hormone hormonal issues, if it's that you've never had an orgasm, if it's that you have an orgasm every day with a man, without a man, with a toy, this class still is for you. Okay, it still is for you. Um so thank you guys again. Um it is always a pleasure to do womb wellness with you guys. Um, it is definitely something I look forward to every single Wednesday. I'm glad that we could have done something new and different today and I not sit down in my chair and just chat off my face like usual. But I could get a little involved, you know, physically. And I hope that the majority of you guys also um, got involved uh, with this class. If you guys, again, have any questions, you can DM us, you can send us a WhatsApp message, you can send us a text message, you can send us a email. You have so many options. Please do so. Thank you again so much, guys, for tuning in. Love and light to all of you. And please remember, self-love is important. We cannot give to the ones that we love and if we don't give to ourselves, it is important for us to, to pour from a full cup instead of pouring from an empty cup. Because how much will we be really be able to pour if the cup is empty? So this is one of those things that's important when it comes to self-care. Just like other things that Cosmic Woman talks about. Your skin, your diet, your all of those things. It all comes back down to self-love. So guys, love yourself. You're amazing, you're beautiful, you're intelligent, you are an amazing being. And this world would not be the same if you weren't in it. So know that and own that. Love and light, guys. Blessings.